the Boo Radley House. It was located on the corner of Fifth and Grand. I remember telling my friend Steph about it one summer. She said, Boo Radley, like that guy in To Kill a Mockingbird? Yeah, I said, don't it look like the house in the movie? She said, yeah, it does. It was an old house overgrown with plants and vines and stuff. The drapes in the windows were always closed and no one ever saw anyone come out or go in. Yet we knew there was someone living there because the mail was always picked up. It was a scary place. Someone did live there, a couple in fact. They lived there for years and one night they died in there when a fire broke out and they were overcome with smoke and couldn't reach the door. I found out about the fire a few weeks afterwards. It was then that I found out that they had been hoarders and hadn't had a chance of survival. I asked about Boo, but nobody knew any more about him than they knew about the old couple that lived there of which little was known. Somehow that old house and the idea that Boo might really live there was more real to me than all the Freddy Kruegers or Saw trilogies or Invaders from Mars put together. Boo Radley wasn't a horror story, though what he represented was the fear of difference, of oddity, xenophobia. Boo Radley was a stereotype. Freddy Krueger was a subgenre. And the house on the corner of Fifth and Grand? It's been cleaned up, rebuilt and repainted. No worries anymore, except for things that go bump in the night. Was that a subgenre or a truck passing?